usually I don't post. Hey, beautiful people. Happy October 2nd. Happy October 2nd. So I hope y'all are all wonderful, doing great, and enjoying the weather because I would say I'm sure the weather is different everywhere, but right now it's going to be 80s all week, which is bad and good for me, but nonetheless, it's still good. So we're going to go with it. So welcome, welcome. I hope y'all are all well. I love y'all so much and thank you for joining me for another video. Um, the twins just got them off to school. I took little Chris to school this morning. The bus did not show up for him in London and the next bus for London got her there right on time, but Chris would have been late. So I took him to school and yeah. So anyway, long story short, there's a few things that I want to get done. So kitchen, dining room, living room, and also like the entire house needs something done to it, but I'm going to do certain things in certain areas. So they came, they cut the ceiling. Let me show y'all that really quickly. For the water, I'm going to call the plumber. I have two more plumbers that I want to get quotes from. So I'm gonna call them and see if they can come out ASAP and get, give me quotes. Um, and yeah, so let me show y'all some of the things that I want to One. get done. I'm going to close this up for now because the plumber has to fix the stuff that's wrong upstairs and then a drywall person will come and fix this. So that's like the second part. I don't wanna have this open for weeks, okay? So I'm going to close this up. It's gonna be a like a little simple patch job thing, but at least it'll be closed. I won't have to see it every time I walk in the kitchen. I'm going to clean up the dining room. The boxes has stuff that um, was in the pantry, like pantry, pantry stuff. So they took the stuff out the pantry, put it in the boxes so that they could move the pantry out the way because as you can see, the pantry would go directly right here. I am going to put the stuff back in the pantry because it is out of the way, so it'll be fine. So I'm going to get that out because this is driving me crazy. Okay, that's number two. Number three is, I'm going to clean off that window again for like the 50 millionth time, but I'm also, I'm gonna put plastic up and just completely cover it. Usually I don't post. Under here is, it's like a crack. Usually I don't post, but I'll make the world enough. And right outside of the window. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, a GDM in, yeah. But I never let them catch me No, I never let them claim me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's get this lake Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, gotta hold on it Let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold no
now see both the holes are patched so it's pink when it's ready to be sanded it'll turn white and then i can finish painting the ceiling and yeah no more holes love that <laughs> love that for me so i can finish painting while well, i paint that but yeah you know out of sight out of mind like look up i kept saying i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna get to that but the patch stuff is super easy to use so i'm glad i got that done yeah patched up the holes it just needs to be sanded a little bit and painted around the fan fan needs to be wiped off and cleaned but i just want to tidy up in here this is the halloween stuff for the halloween party I have a couple packages that i need to open up and yeah and tidy up and stuff and just i'm gonna see how far i get i am gonna take breaks in between i am gonna take a couple breaks in between just depending on how i'm feeling because you know want to make sure that i pace myself but it's early it's a little cooler i don't see anything yet so i want to try and get this done before anything starts popping out if you know what i mean so first things first i'm gonna tape up that hole that's what i got the poster board for i wasn't trying to do anything too extravagant i'm just going to tape that up really quickly usually i don't post usually i don't post but i want the world to know time to pull a drop top out summer nights it's a vibe yeah we've been keeping it in the house netflix and chilling a gdm so beautiful people i put the tape on the poster board and this took me about an hour a little over an hour to get this put up on the ceiling guys it did end up falling down you'll see that in a minute but i had a great idea i went around and put tape all around it and then i was able to just press it so that it would hold for a moment so that i could get it up because this took some time it took some time and i just wanted to have it covered up because i didn't like walking under it i felt like something could fall on me at any minute also the little buzzy buzzies actually were flying up in there and ended up in the bathroom and the kids were freaking out because the bathroom is even smaller than the kitchen so you're in a more confined space and they were scared to death so i wanted to get this taped up now that it's taped up, that's great. Like I said, it took me a little over an hour to get this done back and forth, trying to figure it out, trying to get it to stay. It was a project for sure, but I'm glad that I was able to get it done. Thank you, thank you. I did also use, I think I used six, po like maybe five and a half poster boards to put this up. They were only 44 cent a piece at Walmart, so I felt like that was a good deal. And I'm not worried about the walls because when they come to fix the ceiling, I will just patch the walls if there's, you know, from the duct tape and repaint the wall. I still have the color. So I'm really not worried about that. I did uh, put up some plastic over here on the windows, and you'll see me run down in a minute because one of them did come out, and your girl was gone, pure gone, and that's when the hood went up, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I did kill it. I ended up killing three, okay, three. Oh, goodness gracious. I ran out of duct tape, but I am going to pick some up. I have a new company coming tomorrow. We're trying to figure out exactly where they're coming from. They are not honey buzzy buzzies they are yellow jackets okay yellow jackets i can't figure out where they're coming from they could be deciding it could be a number of things but this guy that i spoke to this gentleman that i spoke to he sounds so confident he was determined that he is going to figure it out no matter what he lives on my side of town he is like really really close to me so we're going to try to get this done bright and early you know i don't know but i do have a little bit more faith in him I did tell him if he's going to come with that powder stuff, don't even don't even come. I'm not paying for that again because it's not working. I need to find out where the source is so that I can get this remedy so that I don't have this problem next summer. Again, he was very confident. So I'm going to tr ask him if I can record. And if he allows it, I will we'll have it in a video coming up for you guys. So again, I did um, duct tape this window because I see a lot of them over here. And I don't know if they just fly towards the light or not or if they're coming. But remember the black bins that are right here under the um, in this 8 cube storage organizer? I found like 30 in one, like 20 in another. And they're always dead over here. So I don't know if this is the major source or not. But it can't hurt to just tape it up and see what's going on. 
Even though I'm still scared to death, I am. I want to put these dishes in the dishwasher, just wipe off the counters and stuff. Keep me company, give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On so now I'm going to empty out the dishwasher and load the dishwasher up, wipe off the counters, all of that good stuff. Actually clean out the sink as well before I even start washing a couple dishes. I'm noticing that you'll see momentarily that my Starbucks cup that I've been using forever, it melted. So the dishwasher gets extremely hot, which is great. I love the way it cleans everything. I never have a problem with it at all, but it has melted several of my um, fruit storage bins, cups, different things like that. So things that I feel like will be melted, could possibly be melted, I am washing those by hand from now on because we don't want any more problems. The Starbucks cup, those Starbucks cups are like $22, $25, look. I couldn't even, it, it had melted it so it wouldn't even put the lid back on. So anyway, things that need to be washed by hand, I will be doing that and the kids know as well. It has melted several of the, the twins, um, what are they, their drinks, oh goodness gracious, their cups that they take to school and so forth and yeah, I'm just over it so I'm going to wash certain things by hand. Um, like I said, I'm going to load the dishwasher, clean out the sink, get the dishes washed, wipe off the counter. The only thing I didn't do in the kitchen was mop, and that is because I sprayed that foam, and I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry before I put down any water on the floor. But I do plan on mopping today so that that'll be nice and clean. I like to mop like every other day to make sure that the floors are nice and clean. I'm going to put the rugs back down and all of that. My weight never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep Is you riding on a team? Got what you need Baby won't you keep me company?
told people I had to stop for a moment to show you these glass cups or glasses that I got from off of Amazon. They are so beautiful. They're perfect for coffee. They are perfect. I love them. They're super thick, which is nice because I did drop, <laughs> yeah, I did. I dropped two of them um, in the sink and stuff, and they actually clanked together. They didn't break, which is nice. They didn't break, but they do come with the lid. They also come with four straws. Here is the name of it right here. If you're looking, I'm going to link it for you in my Amazon storefront as well. But it does come with the glass straws, and they are really thick and nice too. It comes with two straw cleaners and a glass scrubber. So I'm going to wash those by hand. What I'm going to do now is start the dishwasher and then dishwasher. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start the dishwasher. And then I'm going to put my crock pot back. I made crock pot lasagna the other day, so we're good on that. I'm going to put the kettle up as well in the crock pot and then wipe off the counters, clean the inside of the sink, and then get those few dishes washed by hand. With you in secret, I'm and trying to export it for you guys it has not worked i thought that the footage was going to say corrupted it has been driving me crazy and that is why it wasn't posted yesterday because i just could not get it i stayed up till 
ooh, a little almost one o'clock in the morning trying my best to get this footage uploaded like to process and it would not work so this is my third time i'm hoping that it's going to work I'm also going to get rid of um, some of that fruit in that fruit basket. I'm going to keep the fruit in the refrigerator from now on as well because I can't have the fruit out. I just can't do it anymore. I just can't. So the fruit basket, I'm going to give that thing away. I don't even want it. I don't even want the temptation of leaving the fruit out. The fruit has to go in the refrigerator. So here I'm just washing these dishes. Even though I do use the crock pot liners, I do still wash my crock pot after every use because you know, it might have a couple little spills or whatever in there. I'm not even sure, but I just like to make sure that it is nice and clean. But I want the world to know I'm a good catch But I never let him catch me No, I never let him play me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's hit this lake
know that I don't mind washing dishes. I really don't. Um, this is where I ended up getting stung in the face last time. I was at the sink washing dishes and got stung in the face. And so this brings back horrible memories for me. But that's okay. I do still love washing dishes. And I am still trying to be aware and cognizant of what's going on around me. And I don't have any music planned. I am watching a little bit of YouTube because I just like to have the background noise going on. But yes, your girl is still watching. So I am going to make some coffee as well. And I couldn't wait to use these mugs. They are so beautiful. I love them. They're so beautiful and so thick. And Ayana was like, oh my gosh. She only saw the one mug. And she was like, oh, you brought a new um, glass. Or I keep calling it a mug. She's like, you bought a new glass. And I was like, yeah, I bought four. It comes in a set of four. She's like, yay, I could use it too. I was like, yep, you can. We love, she loves iced coffee. I love hot coffee. And it was funny because I made my hot coffee. And she was like, here you go with that hot coffee again. I was like, yes. I don't mind drinking cold coffee every now and then, but I prefer hot coffee. wanted to bring y'all over and show you one two three yes just by sitting it by the window it was over here by the window so clean this off the day that we met Another thing is that I really wanted to get some fresh flowers so I'm going to be going to Trader Joe's they put one in my area and I can't wait to go I absolutely can't wait to go but well it's not in my area I would I want to say it's like 10 12 minutes away from me not bad basically like 10 minutes away from me so not too bad but I wanted to get some fresh flowers but I don't want to bring fresh flowers in to the kitchen with everything that's going on like I'm not giving them a treat like, I, I'm not doing that. So I've been waiting patiently, but I really can't wait to bring in fresh flowers. The faux flowers and everything is, is perfectly fine. But I, my mom, guys, my mom, she loves fresh flowers. Now, growing up, we didn't have them. You know, I grew up in the projects. We didn't have a ton of money or anything like that. But when she purchased her home and everything, she I think she purchased her home when I turned 18. My mom has always had a love for fresh flowers, so she would ha she would change out her flowers like once a week, guys, for a long time, and she's always had plants and everything. Um, I slowly grew into fresh flowers. I didn't, I really didn't care that you know, I really didn't. But now I'm like, man, I want some fresh flowers, and I see people on YouTube and everything showing their flowers, and I'm like, I want to do an arrangement and all that. But like I said, I'm not bringing them into the situation that I'm currently in right now, but they will eventually come. So I'm excited to be able to do that. And I'm excited for Trader Joe's. I really am. So as I was cleaning the kitchen, I was like, I got to get this refrigerator together. The refrigerator was, it was overflowing with stuff. Now y'all know I've been sick for a week or so, a little over a week, and I'm starting to feel better guys. And I'm just, you know, making myself I got to do, I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. I can't lay around all day long. That's not me, but I have stuff to do. So the refrigerator was a mess because again, the kids are really in and out. So 
in and out and I did order them food a couple times because you know they're kids and you know mommy is sick so the refrigerator is clean so as I was cleaning the refrigerator of course my camera died I didn't even notice because you know you'd be so wrapped up I ended up pulling the refrigerator out from against the wall pulling out both the drawers and the bottom drawer that I'm keeping my cheeses and lunch meats and everything in I pulled that completely out cleaned under there I'm guys I'm sorry you didn't get to see all of that and yes and of course the camera died but the refrigerator is now nice and clean and I did get rid of some stuff it's just a part of life not everything survives and I don't like wasting food I know a lot of people did comment about the waste of food and it is a big deal it is a big deal because food is high as heck and I don't like doing that but again I was sick and there's certain things that I didn't eat the kids were not going to eat and so things did go bad so I got rid of it here I am going to just empty out the dishwasher and put everything away and then add a few more things into the dishwasher but for the most part the kitchen is clean and I just got to get the trash out. The reason why I am removing those utensils is because when I was killing one of the buzzies I did spray and it got on the utensils and we don't want no problems big fella. So I remembered to take those out and I put those loaded those right into the dishwasher so that they, they can be cleaned and sanitized and I did wipe off all the rest of the stuff. to move into the dining room for a few minutes I wanted to start getting that together I took the hood off but I was still looking around and yes <laughs> I was so hot guys I wasn't even gonna lie I turned up my ear and everything but I was still super hot um, with that hood on so I am just getting things 
putting it away. Anytime the kids leave like uh, water bottles that have like additional water in and stuff, I ended up, I put that into the cat and dog like watering bowl, guys. I don't waste that water because I've paid for it. So sometimes I'll just dump it in there and then throw the bottles away. But I am going to get the table cleaned off. I am going to get the rest of the Halloween decor together. And I'm going to empty out these Home Depot boxes. Again, the they're called like water remediation team. They were out. So they emptied out the pantry area, put it in these Home Depot boxes. I ended up putting everything back in there and breaking down these boxes. And then little boy, my son, he is, he took them out when he came home from practice yesterday. So I'm just going to finish getting this together, getting the dining room together. I did move that small cap, not cabinet, it's like shelving system. I moved that up against the wall to get that out the way because again, this was just looking a mess to me. I couldn't take it. We did have a hair bin down here. I just took out a few products that we normally use daily and put the rest upstairs um, next to or next to the bathroom because we don't need all of that stuff down here. Okay. Now when the kids are getting their hair done and stuff, we can bring certain stuff down. Why not? And then take it back. But I'm at a point where I can't stand for stuff to be out of place it does not belong down there so it needs to be taken up there and I did tell the kids if you leave your stuff downstairs or anywhere where it does not belong I am going to throw it away I don't care anymore I am over it I am over it I'm over it if it's in the wrong place it's getting thrown away take care of your stuff take it back to your room put stuff away like I said it's getting thrown away. So I did remove also two shelves from out of the refrigerator because I feel like it was just overcrowded and I didn't have enough space. And a lot of the stuff was out of sight, out of mind in the refrigerator. I have a very deep refrigerator. So of course the kids, the twins can't reach all the way in the back. So things that they could reach easily reach or that they may want I moved to the middle shelf and closer so that they can get the other stuff like my drinks and stuff like that I put up high because no one else is drinking the premier proteins and things like that but I did remove two of the shelves I'm going to put those on a shelf in the basement and then if I you know, want to use them again and pull them out I can do so but for right now I don't need them so there's no point in having them in the refrigerator Go slow for sure people the kitchen is clean okay it's clean I yeah so the kitchen is clean everything has been wiped off the stove is clean we got to get the trash out of here I'm waiting on little boy to come home so he got to get the trash 
also the refrigerator is clean i'm done for the day i'm, I'm tired i am pooped out i am tired so your girl is going to go and uh take a hot bath before i hit the sack <laughs> I'm, I'm just playing i'm gonna take a hot bath before i get in the bed and i might fold some laundry upstairs while i'm sitting watching a movie or something like that but or i could just wait till tomorrow too to be honest with you but anyway um everything is clean refrigerator is clean no dishes and i'm going to heat the kids up some lasagna and we are going to call it a night and then tomorrow i'll pick back up with finishing the dining room i want to decorate a little bit for halloween and yeah just get the rest of this stuff together